Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and tonight I am going to make another clean and simple card as quick as possible that we can do it. I'm doing the same we size again, the basic using the basic note cards and envelopes. Um, also going with Pacific Point this time and the same stamp set as the last time, only this time we're going to use the Mary and Joseph image and Baby Jesus. And I've also uh, cut my matte matting layers out using the rectangle stitch framers again just for quickness so that you're not measuring out and whatever I just used the one two third one and fourth one in on the the larger ones so as I said the color I'm going for is the Pacific point which I thought would be a nice way change this is my folded up card. I have cut the Pacific point in the larger die and it'll just sort of sit nicely there, just framed by the white. And the next size down I have used for my white to do a bit of stamping on and it just fits in nicely too. So it's so quick and simple to do that. The hardest part will be using our stamp. So we'll get ready to do that. I've also chosen the sentiment um whoops silent night holy night which comes from the same set and i thought it it suited the occasion uh, or it matched up the image perfectly so i'm going to get my stamping board out first and we'll do our stamping and then let it dry while i'm matting layer so that i don't smudge anything so this will be the one that we're using and i sort of need to trap it down that I can fit my stamp in there perfectly so this is the stamp and we want to fit it in I'm gonna to have to shimmy them about a bit sort of want this oh, wrong, upside down of course I want it the tip right up to the top there if I can to leave me room to stamp i'm going to shift that a wee bit for you so you can see better i want to be able to stamp the sentiment at the bottom here along here it is only a wee skinny one so i'm going to play about with this till i'm happy i'm hoping i don't go over the edge with that just need to be very careful this size just about fits the stamp and no more so whenever you're happy with it, bring it down. And then we're just going to ink it up. With my Pacific Point, which is a nice colour. It's, it's a wee bit different. But I have a difference from the native navy that I used the last time for the other stamp. These are lovely stamps. Like they just give you that instant background without you having to worry so I'm being a bit careful with adding this and just remember because we're using the board we can go back in anywhere we're not happy and pick up more you can see we splotches here and there but I will go back in just gently press it down and you can see the marks there I really want to go back in with that this is my first time inking up this stamp and I probably should have had a wee go at it to remove any residue first. I think it's not taken. Give it a rub. And the, the ink pad will lift it for you. Now, we'll try again. That seems pretty good. I'm fairly happy with that. I'm going to leave it now. Leave me ink pad up. And we're going to take that out and let it dry somewhere. And we'll set this away where I won't get sticky fingers on it. So at this stage, you can decide whether or not you want to colour in the image or leave it. If you're going for a real CA class, clean and simple, or CAS as we we'll call it, uh, just leave it. But... I'll show you what it's like stuck on the card and then you can make your own decisions if you happen to do it. But it is greatly set. Peace to you, you call it. And I think it just would do all your Christmas cards this uh, Christmas. Nice and flat, quick and easy to send. And you can make it in any size. I just, I'm going for the smaller ones this year just simply because I've fallen in love with them. 
they're quick and easy to do and they need that at the moment so I'm going to try and center this best I can and the colour glue whoops will allow me to play about with it till I'm happy it looks okay doesn't it and this was is going to sit right slap bang in the center and our sentiment is going to go here so we'll stamp our sentiment and see what it's like and then I'll show you how I would color it in if uh, you decide you want to yourself so let's hope we get this should be right there I'm just going to hover a bit I think actually it's uh, sitting up a wee bit so I'm going to flatten it down and then sort of line this up as best I can underneath the two edges and the bottom and hope for the best yeah that's dead on isn't it so we can let that dry and I'm going to show you how I would colour it in as I say it is lovely even just sitting against the the background isn't it funny that the ink looks entirely different when you have to put so much on it but it is the exact same matching so that's the way it would look if you wanted to leave it this is going to be what it's like adding some color so i have a few uh, colors chosen i'm going with balmy blue for our ladies cloak there i'm leaving baby jesus white and i'm going to do joseph's um joseph's cape and whatever you call it in dark crumb cake and I've nabbed a wee bit of skin color just that I had laying there from a different brand so we'll do their faces first probably should have went much darker but I just want to add a wee hint of color so they're not white with the rest of being colored not shading or anything I'm just adding color and nothing else you could do this with your colored pencils if you wanted I just find the markers quicker at the minute so we're gonna go in with him and I think I'll maybe do is all right fit in this and then maybe go back in with the darker color for up there you come to the other parts and you, you're not getting in as well as you'd like go to your butt I'll just go around the edge there so we'll do his arms and this part as well same over this side this part so that's not so bad I'm going to go in there and do Mary's deal I'm using the bullet end because it's a small wee area so I don't want to go over with the brush point I 
Well, that's so clean and simple when you're going to do this, but it could be worth your while. I'm going to do the star now, yellow, and again, using Daffodil Delight Dark. And I'm just going in with the bullet point again to give me more control. If you weren't confident colouring it in, um, you could put some embossing powder and heat emboss it, and then that keeps you inside the lines. Um, I want to go and get... A darker colour for Joseph's um, clothes. Right, I'm going to go in with a bit of um, dark soft suede, which I think might be too dark, but I'm going to go anyway. Probably more chance of him wearing a white one. Not a similar stone. See a wee bit of white paper through there. So we just have to do staff now, and I think I'll just use a prime fine liner if I can find one. So that's it all coloured in. I just stuck a bit of a uh, brown fine liner on there to make that. Now at this stage. If you want to raise it up, go ahead, put the uh, dimensionals on the back. Again, I'm just going flat. Once I say, for clean and simple, don't bother colouring. Just stamp it and stick it all together. You want to add that wee bit extra and colour it in. Now, that is it done. Pure and simple. It, it really is the best wee stamp set. You should give it a go. If, you, if you're going to buy one for Christmas, I would recommend this one because it covers all. Everybody for Christmas. Everybody. So, catch us all again later. Thanks for watching. Bye.